Hey, Kevin Grindel here with Nozzle Nolan. Um, today we're going to talk about bed bug elimination with heat with Scott. Go ahead, Scott, tell us about it. Well, as you know, heat is the ultimate treatment for bed bugs. The reason why heat is so good for bed bugs is because heat is indiscriminate. It doesn't know where it's going. It just goes everywhere in the cracks and crevices and even inside the furniture, mattresses, everywhere in the house to kill bed bugs. So you think it would be best to leave the infested furniture in the unit while it's being treated? There is no need to get rid of infested furniture. Heat will kill bed bugs inside the thickest, deepest furniture and mattresses. Okay, and with the heat, is there ever any reason to use, say, I hate to use the word chemical, but maybe a residual application? Yes, we always use a residual application when we're finished with the heat job because it, as hard as this bug is to kill, and most people, if you've ever had bed bugs, you know how hard they are to get rid of. Heat is the ultimate weapon in the elimination of bed bugs, okay. but it never hurts to leave behind some residual just in case there are a few stragglers or you may happen to bring some more back home. Okay. The residual will help take care of that. That makes sense. Now, what about the preparation? What's involved with that? It's very important to get 100% elimination. We can do it with heat. 99%, that 1% is up to you to prepare. Proper preparation is vital in a good heat treatment um, because if you declutter and make sure that everything is prepared properly, that will enable the heat to get into everything. It's not just like turning on a switch and turning up the heat. Heat is a very involved process with a lot of air movement. So we have to make sure that we get that heat circulated throughout every room, all the closets, into the walls. And when we have room to do that, when the house has been prepared properly, that movement of hot air is able to circulate everywhere to make sure we get every single bed bug in the place. Okay, and, and that makes sense too. Now the things that we would have to remove from a house or an apartment unit, what would those things typically be that could melt? Well, it, it sounds like a lot of preparation for heat treatment, but in reality it isn't because we only have to do it one time. But there are certain things that are heat sensitive. Candles, obviously, sure. crayons, Medicine is very important because medicine will degrade at, at kind of low temperatures, about 100 degrees. So we want to make sure that those are either removed or put into the refrigerator so they're protected from the heat. Um, makeup, lipstick, things like that. Electronics are typically fine. Um, there are some things that if we believe that they're a little sensitive, we will protect them with heat blankets so that they don't get damaged. Oh, okay. And how hot are we going to heat this place up today? We hope to achieve uh, about 140 degrees. And for how long? Well, we leave it run a pretty long time, about four to six hours. Okay. To make sure that that heat penetrates everywhere. Now, another added benefit from what I understand that if there are any other pests, say ants, roaches, or whatever, is that going to... It will help, yes. Um, it's not always because those things, especially roaches, can run, they can get inside the walls and go to the neighbors, maybe. Okay. But it will help, yes. Ants, obviously, as you know, are colonized insect. Um, is it gonna kill any that are inside the structure? Yes. Awesome. The nest still could sure. needs to be dealt with outside. Sure. Yeah. I just thought I'd ask. Sure. Okay, I think, I think that wraps it up. Um, great information, appreciate it. Sure. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Thank nice you. Nice to help.